These days, it can be daunting to visit the hospital to see a friend or loved one. So today, we're gonna give you seven things you should always do when you visit a friend or a loved one in the hospital. Number one, call ahead and find out the room number and location. Navigating a modern hospital these days can be sort of like trying to find your way around an airport. So don't just learn the room number, but also find out what entrance should I go in and how do I get there. That way, when you arrive, instead of worrying about do I know where I'm going, you can think about that person that you're there to support. Number two, actually go to the facility. Now that may sound obvious, but it can be intimidating. It can be hard to fit into our busy schedules. But sometimes we need that extra encouragement to actually go and show up and be with that person who's in need. Number three, always sanitize your hands on your way into the person's room. That communicates to them, I want to respect you by making sure I'm not bringing in any new germs into your room. Number four, go in and sit down. It communicates more compassion and you connect with the person better if you're sitting and looking them eye to eye instead of standing over them while they're in the bed. Number five, just listen. Sometimes we feel like there's something we have to say or tell that person when they're in the hospital. But we find that it's better more often to go in and sit down and just listen, ask a couple questions, and then let them talk about how they're really doing. Number six, keep it private. HIPAA federal law prevents you from being able to share information about how the patient's doing once you leave the room. It's also just a respectful thing to make sure that the private information that that person shares with you when you visit doesn't leave that space. Finally, number seven, keep your visit short. There's a lot going on when we're patients in the hospital. People coming and going and tests being done. And sometimes the person's energy level for a long visit just isn't there. So keep that visit private, but also keep it short. By doing these seven things every time you visit a friend or loved one in the hospital, you can make sure you have the confidence to have an effective visit.